Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jundari Lagito Malingi or just for me, teacher Jundari. A licensed professional teacher major in mathematics. Ako po ay gumagawa ng mga Tagalog math tutorial mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Ito po ay tulong at dedikasyon para sa mga pagulang, sa mga magtuturo, at lalo-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, don't forget to like and share and hit the notification bell para updated ka sa aking mga bagong video na ipapalabas. Stay tuned! Hey guys, it's me again, Teacher Jam. For today's videos, we are talking about solving quadratic equation by factoring. So we have here an example, and later on, we will talk about this problem. Because a lot of you requesting main topic about quadratic equation by factoring. So without further ado, let's start. So before we start, I'm starting the equation or finding the solution of this equation. So let's have an example. So I have here an example, number one. So, meron po tayong x squared, yan, x squared minus 7x equal 0. So, in this example, we will use greatest common factoring. As you can see, we have x squared minus 7x equal 0. So, we need to think the greatest common factoring from both x squared and negative 7x. So, we have, we're going to find the factor between x squared minus 7x nakuha. And as you can say, when we talk about coefficient, wala tayong mga common factor. So, when we look the variable, we have the common factor which is the variable x. Okay, so now, hahanapin natin yung factor sa dalawa. So, anong factor sa x squared minus 7x? So, anong common nila? So, we have Ang ating variable, let's say x. So, ano common nila? So, x. So, x. Next, we have x squared. x squared divide x. That is x. Okay? Next, we have negative 7x divided by x. That is what? Negative 7 equal to 0. Nakuha. Okay, next. What will we do? So, we will equate both factors are 0. So, this first factor, and it will be x equal to 0. So, we have this is our first factor and this is our second factor. So we have, we will equate this different zeros. So we have x equal to 0. So understandable that our first factor is x equal to 0. And, and how about our second? Our second factor that is x minus 7 equal to 0. So what will you do next? So we're going to transpose to the other side. So, so anong ating rules para mag transpose? So, if from positive sign, ito ay magiging negative. Kung galing siya sa negative, ito ay magiging positive. So, it says, ito ay negative, so magiging positive 7. Nakuha. Okay, next is, what will you do? So, x equal to 7. Okay, 0 plus 7 of this, 7. Okay, so next, is it the final answer? Yes, this is our final answer. x equal to 0 and x equal to 7. So, ibig sabihin, what we have here, this is our x sub 1 is equal to 0, and this is our x sub 2 is equals to 7. So these are the following roots of quadratic equation in this x squared minus, ayan, x squared minus 7x equal to 0. So these are our roots. Did you get it? Okay, another example. Example number 2. So meron tayong, ayan, 4x squared minus x x. Uh, 4x squared minus 8x equal to 0. Okay. So the first thing to do is we're going to find the common factor sa kanilang dalawa. So ano ang common factor sa kanilang dalawa? So we have sa ating coefficient, may common factor ba sila? Meron. So ano ang common factor between 4 and 8? That is 4. Okay, so we have 4. How about our coefficient? Another factor and common factor that is x. So we have 4x equals 4x squared divided by 4x that is x. Nakuha? Next, we have negative 8x divided by 4x that is negative 2. Did you get it? Equal to 0. So next is we have what will you do? So we equate by 0. So we have 4x equal to 0 and yung isa is x minus 2 equal to 0. 
So what will you do now is we're going to 4x divide 4 and divide 4 so we have magiging x equal to 0 divide 4 that is 0. Next is transpose to the other side negative magiging positive so x equal positive 2 or 2. So now ang ating answer is x equal to 0 and x equal to 2. So what we have here is x sub 1 is equal to 0 and x sub 2 is equal to 2. Therefore, the roots of our 4x squared minus 8x equals to 0. That is, x sub 1 equal to 0 and x sub 2 is equal to 2. Nakuha. Okay, another example. Number 3. So we have x squared minus 36 equals to 0. So in this example, we incorporate differentiating squares. In item number 1 and 2, kasi, what we did is we find the last common or the factor sa kanilang dalawa. So, but here, we have pattern. Have you still remember the special product? So, like for example, so we have x. So, like for example, meron tayong special product x squared ayan, minus y squared. So, ano ang special product dyan? So, we have dalawang parenthesis, so x, x, and y, y plus minus. So, yan ang ating special product. So, let's start. In solving this problem, we need to get first the square root of x squared and square root of what? Square root of 36. Okay, halimbawa. And number 3, so yung square root of x squared. Anong square root niya? So, we have, kunin natin yung factors sa x, dalawang parenthesis. How about negative 36? Ano ang square root sa negative 36? That is 6. Ayan. I guess. Okay, so we have positive yung isa at saka yung isa is negative equal to 0. Okay, sir, can we interchange these two factor or design? Yes, it's possible to have x minus 6 and x plus 6 equal to 0. Okay, since we have two factor, we will equate both 0. So we have x plus 6 equal to 0 and yung isa is x minus 6 equal to 0. So we have transpose to the other side magiging positive magiging negative 6. How about this one? Negative magiging positive 6. So what we have here, so x sub 1, so this is our x sub 1, is equal to negative 6, and x sub 2 is equal to 6. So in this problem, the roots of our x squared minus 36 equals to 0, that is x sub 1 is equal to negative 6, and x sub 2 is equal to negative, uh, positive 6, rather. Did you get it? Okay, let's proceed to example number 4. In example number 4, we have 5x squared minus 125 equal to 0. As you can see, we cannot use directly the different of squares, pero pwede tayo mag-factor. So as you can see, meron tayong 3 and 125. Meron tayong 5, rather, and 100. Ayan, meron tayong 5 at saka 125. So, factor muna natin. So we have, ano natin i-factor? So, paano natin i-factor? So, we have 5. Ayan. Ano ang common factors ang ating coefficient? Ayan, coefficient. So, we have 5. So, we have 5x squared minus. Ayan. Minus what? Minus 25 equal to 0. Next, what will you do? So, we're going to get the special products sa ating inside the parenthesis. So, we have factor Again, natin, so we have 5. Ayan. Gawa tayo ng dalawang parenthesis. So, x squared minus 25. So, paano natin i-factor ang special products? We have x. Kapiyan na natin yung x. Saka, anong factor sa 25? That is 5 and 25. 5 times 4, that is 25. So, we have positive at saka negative. Okay. Ngayon, we have 3 factors. Ito ay ating 5, ating x plus 5, at x minus 5. So now, what will you do is, but, ang ating equate lang ay ang x plus 5 at ang x minus 5. So we have x plus 5 equal to 0. How about yung isa? x minus 5 equal to 0. So, so x neg positive 5 transpose magiging negative 5. So x negative 5 transpose magiging positive 5. So ibig sabihin, we have here, Meron tayo ng ating x sub 1 is equal to negative 5. Ang ating x sub 2 is equal to positive 5. So therefore, ang ating problem na um, quadratic equation sa 5x squared minus 125, ang ating roots 
ay x sub 1 is equals to negative 5 at x sub 2 is equals to positive 5. Nakuha. So next example, number 5. So as you can see that our example is a trinomials. So we have x squared minus 2x minus 15 equal to 0. So as you can see, we cannot use a greatest common factoring and different types of squares. What we have here is a trinomial. We need to factor out in different patterns. Whenever encountering this quadratic equation, I'm preparing two different parentheses. So for example, this one. Again, preparing the two parentheses. Okay. So we have. So factor natin yung x squared. Ayan. So we have x. So kabila yung isa. So next equal to zero. Don't forget to write the zero. In first term, understandable that x squared, that is x times x. So, the main problem here is to get the factor of second term and the third term. So, ito ang ating second term at saka yung ating third term. So, in factoring, take note that every time you factor out the third term, make sure that the result of your factor, if you combine, you will get the exactly answer in the second term. Okay, halimbawa, meron tayong ang ating third term is 15. So, ano ang possible factor ng negative 15? So, we have negative 5 and 3. Another, we have negative 3 and 5. So, what are the um, possible na makukuha na factor dito sa second term? So, for example, kung i-add natin yung negative 5 plus 3, that is negative 2. Ibig sabihin, ito ay ating exact factor. Did you get it? Okay, so yan ang ating gagamitin. So, we have, meron tayong, ano yun? Negative 5 at saka positive 3. Okay, next, what will you do? So, equate natin to 0. So, we have x minus 5 equal to 0. Yung isa is x plus 3 equal to 0. Transpose to the other side, may negative magiging positive 5. At ang positive 3 magiging negative 3. So, so what we have here, so our x sub 1 is equal to 5 and our x sub 2 is equal to negative 3. So, in this quadratic equation, x squared minus 2x minus 15 equals to 0. Our roots, we have x sub 1 is equals to 5 and our x sub 2 is equals to negative 3. Did you get it? Okay, and that's all for today. Thank you and get blessed. I'm back. Ayan. Kung nakatulong po sa inyo, please like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. It's me again, Teacher GM. Laging nagsasabi, stay safe, stay home, stay healthy, at mag-aral ng mabuti para sa may magandang kinabukasan. See you to my next vlog. God bless and goodbye.